how you guys doing? This is William Myers out here filming with Chris Tanner. We're going to show you a very job specific tool. So don't go away. Alright, so what we have down here right now is a tool from FlexCut called the Carving Jack. And this is for somebody that has a specific purpose that they want this tool. They want their they like carving with wood. They like, you know, this this isn't something for everybody, I would say. But you guys out there that like to make spoons and bowls and things like that, this is for you and it's gonna make your life a lot easier. It comes with a straight chisel point. All these tools come super razor sharp. It also comes with just a regular whittling blade or a carving blade that is actually very useful. Some of the other tools that are included in here is a V gouge is what they call it. And then the other side is what I mostly use. Has what's called a a scorp, a straight scorp, round scorp. Has a curved gouge. Very useful for making spoons and small bowls. And it has basically like a hook knife making bigger bowls and things like that and this like I said this isn't a tool for everybody if you don't like making you don't like going out to the woods you know and making spoons forks even you know this thing does great for that little little carving task intricate detail and things like that this knife is really good for so <clears throat> just to test out we'll just test out a couple of the tools right now just kind of make the bowl for a spoon let's just do that Right away, actually, I'm going to clean this up a little bit with the whittling knife. Let's get it nice and square on the sides, shrink it down to where I want it. All right, I think that's where we're gonna start. And we're just gonna take a section to where we can leave our hand up here. And then we're gonna start the shape of our bowl right here. And what I like to do is just kind of scribe, this is a small circle, just kind of drawing it on what I want on there at the moment. And we're just gonna do a spoon. Be better if I had a pen, but this'll work. Let me make it a little bigger. Just so I can have an outline of the basic shape that I want. And we all know what a spoon looks like. And then I can change my tool over. And this is where this tool comes in handy. It's just how quickly it carves out this bowl. <clears throat> Alright, so we start out by, you know, obviously we don't want to cut towards ourselves so we'll kind of line that up to where we want it it's very slow digs into the wood and the thing about these flex cuts the uh, carving jacks you have to be careful when you buy them because they come in a right-handed model and a left-handed model so pay attention to that if you are interested in this make sure you get the right one for you. And I'm not going to go all the way through this. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to kind of get the, the shape of the bowl that you want. And the reason why I leave that extra space is because I need something to grab onto when I'm flipping this around side to side. But you don't want to work towards your hand. Ooh. 
There we go, we got the basics started. Now we can start cleaning up those cuts. Start shaping our bowl a little more. Alright, just lightly clean that up a little bit, swoop it around, clean the outside of it up. And there you can see, five minutes guys, I have my bowl cut for a spoon. Then you switch out tools, go with your, uh, your whittling knife, cut out the pattern for your spoon. If you want to, take it to some sanding paper, finish it out, it's just that easy. This tool saves me probably 45 minutes of work. And, but you know, like I said, these are very job specific, you know, for carvers and things like that, intricate detail, things like that. Um, they are, they're not cheap, you know, they're over $100, around 120, you can even find them as, as high as 100, as, as high as $150 actually. But like I said, they're all right-handed and left-hand models. You have to make sure what you're buying, if this tool interests you. Um, the one thing I could say about this is the reason why I want it is one because it is more efficient for me to work with i could do the same things with other tools yes will it be as nice looking and will it take me the short amount of time no this is going to make spoons and other carving tasks look very good it's going to do them very efficiently as well so i wanted it it has been my constant companion in my pocket ever since i have got it and i've carved a thousand things with it so far and it's very easy to bring the edge back on it once you do bring that down a little bit so that's what we're going to go into right now you know as far as this goes you know i know that there's going to be a lot of people commenting on it you know well i don't need it i don't it's too expensive this is a very nice tool to have i'm very impressed with it i bought this this is mine it's not like somebody gave it to me for free i sought this out because i like them i've used them in the past i wanted one for my own how to keep this thing maintained obviously you can see there is a bunch of shapes on here that would be a nightmare to try to keep sharp in a regular situation say with a, le a piece of leather or strop you're not going to get a stone on probably half the tools that are in here so they give you this block of wood they also give you polishing compound just to mention that's the sheath it's nothing special trust me it's just a snap sheath go ahead and throw that down there but this block of wood is shaped for all the tools that you need to sharpen and keep sharp or hone i guess i could say the round the big round half moon right here is for the hook knife to keep it honed on the back side there's a piece of leather on the back of the block that is for the back side of these and all the other blades that will fit straight on here but that's to keep that honed. There are also spots on here for all the other tools. You know, the, uh, the small scorp, that's the, out, that's the outside, the inside and the outside fits there. The, uh, the V scorp, outside and inside. You know, all the tools have their own strop on this wooden block. So a lot of people that have gotten these have asked what the heck is this thing for and that's what it's for you know you just take a compound rub it on there and then whatever tool is dull, dull can't speak today whatever tool is dull you just drop it on the wooden block it brings back the polish and the edge all right guys what's been William Myers Mass Outdoors I hope you enjoyed this video if you did there's some more of my previous videos that are playing in the screens to my left right now there's also a subscribe button over there. If you haven't done so, I appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. To stay up to date with what I'm doing with my school and the YouTube channel, stay posted on the videos that are going to be uploaded. You can go to www.facebook.com forward slash Manus Outdoors or you can go to www.manusoutdoorsllc.com.
Liking my videos helps me and my channel out a lot. I appreciate all your views, comments, and support, and hopefully we'll see you out in the woods.